McFallen continue to play a very, very tough non-conference schedule and and they welcome Madison West today. Um, Madison West passed state champions years ago and uh, just a, a perennial power in the Big Eight. <coughs> always, always have a good team, well coached and is doing well in conference. Um, McFarlane continues to have a, probably one of the toughest non-conference schedules in the state of Wisconsin <coughs> compared to their the conference, uh, Rock County Conference, which is which not that good. They beat Madison Memorial 2-1, tied Madison East 2-2, tied Sun Prairie 1-1, Tied Verona, who were the Big Eight champions, the Super Bowl, look of it, 0 0. Lost to La Falla, 2 0. Beat Edgewood, 2 0. And, uh, you know, just, just a really <coughs> tough, beat a good Oregon team, 2 0 on Thursday. Um, just, just a really beautiful facility here in McFarland. Field is great, coaching is wonderful. Brett Orgozalik is the coach, and as I mentioned before, he is. Now a qualified teacher and looking for a position teaching in the hopefully in the McFarland district. So if you're listening out there and uh, there is a position for Brett, that would be great. Uh, my name is David Harris and I have lots of coaching experience, almost 30 years in uh, this part of the world. Uh, my final stint was uh, 10 years at Madison East and we on my 10th on my year there, we won the Big A championship outright and we're ranked fourth in state. Um, also uh, an NCA official, Division I, um, ACC, Big East, Big Ten, uh, and I headed up Conference USA for 20 years as their director of officials. So know a lot about soccer, and uh, but this is uh, nice to be asked to come to McFarland to do some commentating because it's uh, two excellent teams out here tonight. Uh, and I go welcome my, our broadcast crew from WMCF Production, Patrick Heasty, Ryan Denzer, and Andrew Day are here today, weathering out the cold. But it's it's kind of nice up here at the moment. There's, there's no wind, and uh, it should be a good game. We'll be doing the starting lineups in, in about three or four minutes, and uh, now they're doing coin toss and shaking hands. Very experienced referee today, Todd Mader was a college, one of my college referees uh, a while back, and uh, he's uh, he's heading up the crew today with um, his two assistant referees, keeping nice and warm there. <coughs> Todd is just letting them know what they can and cannot do out there, and uh, he's, a, as I say, a very experienced official, very patient. I don't see a, a rash of yellow cards today. Um, we had 10 on Thursday in the Madison East La Follette game, and, and according to the coaches, it wasn't that rough a game, but uh, the, t the referee showed 10 yellow cards, and that's uh, that's unheard of at, at the high school level. Because if a, if a player gets five yellows in a, in a, in during that season, he, has, he or she has to sit two games, and if gets another, three yellows, you're gonna have to sit two games. So, um, bring in some, uh, <coughs> some warmth to the benches by bringing out some of the warm bleachers there. So we're kicking off in about three minutes. And uh, as I say, it's beautiful facilities here in, in McFarland, uh, second to none in the state of Wisconsin. And as I mentioned in my previous broadcast, as good as any college facility anywhere. I mean, much better than the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and Marquette. Um, I officiated quite often on those fields, and this the, this facility here is, is outstanding. <coughs> Lots of new additions onto the high schools, new swimming pool, new fire ed areas, new parking lot. It's uh, it's a growing community, and uh, but um, the only Negative, and it's not really a negative, is the fact that the McFarland is in the Rock County Conference, and it's a very, very poor soccer conference. And <coughs> it's a pity that they couldn't be moved back into the Southern Badger Conference with Oregon, Monona Grove, 
Mount Horeb and teams like that. So they, they would be playing against very, very good teams week in and week out and not relying on their tough non-conference schedules. And uh, it's nice that they play all four Madison schools and Edgewood. It's, it's, it's good that they maintain that relationship with with the coaches. And just found out from uh, <clears throat> from one of the moms of um, Ethan Nichols is Ethan is going to a Division II school on a full scholarship in uh, out in Missouri and um, congratulations to him and um, just as I say just a really good team and two good teams going out tonight and we'll do the starting lineups in a couple of minutes. Customary shaking the hands. Then the lineup starters will be the eleven starters will be next next to the officials. The Madison West team is in white, and the, all the reserve and subs will be of red pennies on. And McFarlane's in navy blue. As customary, they will follow the officials out into the field. <coughs> I have a great respect for the referee. I've, as I say, he was one of my college referees for a while and uh, did very, very well. But was, was one of the officials I could put on a tough game and know that it wouldn't be a rash of yellow or red cards. So, <coughs> Madison West, first of all. Goalkeeper, Oscar Herrera. Number one, Oscar Herrera. Three, Finn Kennedy. Number four, Owen Rouse. Number five, Miguel Conde. Number six, and Alexander Lemens. Number seven, Mitchell Patel. Number eight, Tonio Emakov. Number nine, Jackson Steyer. Number 10, Usman Jallo. Number 22, Kraus. And number 23, Fletcher McGrath. Coached by Pat Bow in his first year as head coach. Now McFarland. Number two, Ian Loss. Number three, Ethan Nichols. Number five, Jackson Wilwinski. Number six, Brett Connor. Number seven, Vince Sales. Number eight, Mason Brown. Number 11, Jake Sampson. Number 14, Kobe Smith. Number 18, Carter Morawick. And number 21, Zach Nichols. Coach, head coach. Matt shooting goal, head, head coach, Brett Gozalek. Really does done a fine job here in McFarland.
It's a lot of them. It's a cold day today. Temperatures in the upper th upper 30s. We've got loud music on. Referee decides to brave the elements and take his hat off and. Uh, This is about the fifth or sixth consecutive um, times I've done this. Commented games uh, against Madison schools, and uh, they've done very, very well, McFarland. And uh, it's uh, looks like it's um, uh, Madison Edge, kick Madison West kickoff. Good crowd here. Forty-five minutes each way. Maswa kicks off. Right from the onset, it looks like Madison West would be playing a, pos a short possession game. Good clearance by Jackson Wawinski, number five. Ethan Nichols. He's away already. Looks like a corner kick. A goal kick. Nice run by Ethan Nichols. He's I, I talked to the coach, Madison West, Pat Bouch before the game about both Ethan and Zach as being probably the, the best players. Two of the best players that McFarland has. The long throw expert, number 11, Jake Sampson, probably the coaching staff at Madison West know all about his throw. Headed out by Madison West defense and throw McFarland. Looks like another long throw. He must have launched 20 to 30 of these the other day. Straight to the goalkeeper, Oscar Herrera. Oscar was a freshman when I was the head coach at Madison East and we beat them one nothing, but he had an outstanding game at Breeze there. That, that you, as a freshman, no, he's a senior. Good keeper. Madison West brings the ball out, defense. Some close possession by McFarland there. Ethan Nichols. Try to find his brother, Zach. Shot by Ian lost the typical fullback shot. You know, either it's going straight to the goal or it's going straight over the crossbar. And uh, in that case, it was well wide of the uprights. Goal kick, Madison West. As I mentioned, right of the kickoff, Madison West looks like they're going to play short, short ball possession. It's too long. It's a goal kick, McFarland. <coughs> One player that's impressed me during the last four or five games is Mason Brown, freshman at McFarland, the sole freshman starter on the McFarland team, and. Uh, 
Good player. Rolls through to the keeper. McFarland Field is, is about 110 by 70. Maximum length of the field, or uh, any soccer field, which won a referee over in the ACC at Wake, Wake Forest in North Carolina and teams like this, they have 120 by 80, the ACC teams do, but uh, most of the Big Ten are the same. And the ideal for high school would be just like 110 by 70 to 75 wide is perfect. Nice play there by number three, Ethan Nichols. To his brother Zach, throw McFarlane. No, this 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 is when a long throw is does work. Number eleven, Jake Sampson is taking a long throw. Headed out by Madison West. Picked up by number six, Brett Connor. Throw Madison West. Five minutes into the game is McFarlane zero, Madison West zero. Trevor McFarland. Nice header by Jackson Wawinski. Shot McFarland, corner kick, rebounds off a defender. Great run by number three, Ethan Nichols again. I would rate Ethan is probably easily in the top two or three players in the area. Not in top five in the state at least. Not a good corner kick, too short. <laughs> McFarland gets the ball back. Good tackle by East uh, by uh, West High School defender to, to number five. Miguel. Shot. Where did the goal goalkeeper lets it go? Covered covered the goal area. Nice shot from a replay. Just wide. Long way out though. Throw McFarlane, taken by Jake Sampson again. Long throw. To feet this time. Would pay to pay to play to Zach and Ethan Nichols' feet because they have so much pace on the turn. Sometimes that's more effective than a flick on with the head. Taken by number 22. Peter Kraus. Feet. McFarlane ball. Taken by number 14, Kobe Smith. No, nope, it's going to be Jake Sampson again with a long one. Oh, 
fallen ball. I'm surprised that wasn't a foul throw then, but referee was not looking. West on the attack. Good tackling by McFarlane defense. Trying to get in behind West High School defense. Retrieved by the goalkeeper who plays feet to his, one of his defenders, number six, Alexander Lamance. Nice play by West. Madison West looks like they're going to be playing to feed our defense. Whereas McFarlane tend to play a more long ball. Number 11, Jake Sampson again. Mason Brown was on, almost on the end of that pass. Goalkeeper was very aware. Oscar Herrera was was the first team all-conference last year with, with Madison West. And he's probably the best keeper in the conference again this year. Throw West. So it's McFarland zero, Madison West zero, 10 minutes into the game. Short ball, nice play with Man Madison West, building quietly. Nice run out of the defense by number two, Ian Loss. Good effort by number three, Ethan Nichols to find Ian Loss. Ian's racing back in defense now. Jackson Wawinski, long ball out. The difference be be between turf and grass with the long ball is that it does bounce a lot higher on, on turf. Well played, number three, Ethan Nichols holding the play up. Saving the ball from goal, from goal kick. Goalkeeper Oscar Herrera. Out of bounds of number 14, Kobe Smith. <laughs> Father makes the substitution. Grant Newcomer comes into the team, into the field. Throw taken by number 14, Kobe Smith. Another long throw. Nice play with defense. We yet to see a foul yet. As I said, this referee is very experienced and lets him play. Throw, Madison West. Out of bounds from Jackson Wawinski. Throw Madison West. Very even game so far. If anything, McFarland look the better on offense. More dangerous. Throw defeat by Madison West.
Nice close passing by Madison West. McFallen defense, very, very strong, very clean. Well won by Ian Lost there. Long ball, by, long ball by Jackson Wawinski. 21, Zach Nichols. It's been too long on the ball then. 23, Fletcher McGrath takes takes the ball away from, from him. Different style of play where you have Madison West with a slower, methodical build up, but very effective, whereas McFarland like to play the long ball with a lot of pace up front. Defense is a little too far off the west forwards. They should be closer. Shot on goal over the crossbar. McFarland zero, Madison West zero. We're in the 15th minute. Trying to get through ball, played play back with the keeper. Keeper cannot pick it up, it's a deliberate pass back. He has to play with feet. If he picks it up, it'll be an indirect free kick to McFarland. Number three, Ethan Nichols trying to find Mason Brown and went straight through to the keeper. Well played Madison West. Number three, Finn Kennedy. Nice play by Zach Nichols to his Ethan Nichols throw and substitute Madison West. Number 15 goes off. Thrown by number 22, Peter Kraus. Almost all West throws are defeat, short defeat, maintaining possession. Well played by Well played by McFarlane going forward. That's a foul on Ethan Nichols, a push in the back. Build up by Madison West. Good turn by Ian Loss. Twenty one, Zach Nichols's way. Great tackle at the back there. Corner kick. Good tackle by number three, Finn Kennedy. Ian Loss will take a long corner kick. Up will come the tall backs, Jackson Wawinski and, and Kobe Smith. Keep it, keep it well. Contact made by the McFarlane player on the keeper. Results in a free kick. 
Jackson Wilwinski trying to use his height there. As the keeper pun was punching the ball away, Jackson made contact, illegal contact. So it's a free kick. Madison West. Ball hanging in the air. Just a slight wind there. It's a foul on num number eight. Tonya Umakov. On number six. Brett Connor. Good player, Brett. I mentioned that in my Brett broadcast. He just very plays very simple ball. Ian Loss chips it in, headed out by Madison West. Throw McFarland. The long one. Madison West seems to be coping quite easily with the long throws. Nice play by Madison West. One on one with. Did well. Jackson Wilwinski did really well then. Getting the contact with the ball. Offside. Offside of McFarland. Number three, Ethan Nichols. Indirect free kick. Pass back, goalkeeper has to play it with feet. Nice play. Ian Laws trying to make the tackle of trip from the back on number 10. Usman Jallo. Great ball in, coming behind the defense. Well tracked by McFarland. Brett Connor, number six, kicks the ball out long. Out of bounds. Mason Brown took the kick. Ian Loss. Jackson Wilwinski. Feet. Ethan Nichols trying to find me, his brother Zach straight through to the keeper, Oscar Herrera. <coughs> well, she lived. Two on one, McFarland. Throw Madison West. Clearance by McFarland. Sub Madison West. Madison West makes three substitutions. The 23rd minute, halfway through the first half, and it's Madison West zero, McFarland zero. Throw from Madison West. Yeah, almost everything Madison West throws is to the feet, whereas McFarland is, is, is a long throw. <coughs> nice tackle by Brett Connor. Well. Shot by Madison West, easily saved by keeper Matt Shoot. Nice play, Ben. 
gets his whole body behind the play. Well played McFarlane, tackle from the back. Mason Brown wins the ball back. It's corner kick. Well played the defense of Madison West. As soon as uh, Ethan Nichols got the ball, the two, two defenders came on him. Ian Loss taking the corner kick. Goalkeeper gathers that very easily from the head, head headed ball by Jackson Wilwinski. Out of bounds throw, Madison West. 25th minute, and it's Madison West 0, McFarlane 0. <coughs> Not much of a crowd the other side of the field as it's very, very windy here in McFarlane and temperatures in the upper thirties. Madison West really played well out of defense. It played all to feet. Nice break by McFarland here. Mason Brown. Too long for Ethan Nichols. Out of bounds. Handball. Free kick taken by number eight, Tonyo Emakov. Good defense. Shot by Madison West. Nice play by number three, Ethan Nichols. Madison West defend very, very well. Lots of experience back there. Mainly seniors and juniors. <laughs> nice tackle by number five, Jackson Wilwinski. <coughs> Number three, Finn Kennedy, a freshman, the only freshman on the on the West team. <laughs> nice play by number six, Brett Connor. Good defense there by Kobe Smith. As the throw to Pete by West, maintaining possession. Should be a shot from here. Number eight. Good defense by McFarland. Push by push push by number three Ethan Nichols. Free kick. Only a very few free kicks in the f in the first half. Just a couple. As I said, the referee very experienced. Just lets him play. He knows that Owen Rouse takes a free kick. It's a long one in the air. One by West High School. Long volleyball number three, Finn Kennedy. A 
Out of bounds, McFarland. West. West ball. Taken by freshman Finn Kennedy. Great ball by Mason. Good defense by uh, West. Very even game so far. No teams, neither team have had any cha real chances and goalkeepers have not made any saves now, but uh, good build up by both teams. Maintaining possession as much as they can. A winner in the 30th minute and it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Throw west. Defeat again, maintaining possession. Kicked away by Brett Connor. Throw Madison West. Number nine, Jackson Steyer. Number three, Finn Kennedy again. Nice turn by number 14, Matthew Reguero. Just one too many passes by West. Nice out, Mason, Mason Brown. Ian Loss. Nice turn by Ian Loss. All the ball has to go out, every part. Only half the ball went out. That means that it's not a throw. All the ball has to go out, every single part of it. There has to be uh, daylight between the line and the ball. Nice run by Madison West. Corner kick. Taken by number eight, Tonio Ermakov. <laughs> Taken by number eight, Tonio Markov. Looks like he takes all the throws, kicks and corner kicks. Kick out of defense by Brett Connor. Throw. Madison West. Much of the play comes from Tonio Markov. He looks like he's the one with the most experience. It's a corner kick. Good, de good defending by good defending by McFarland. Corner kick, West High School. Great corner kick. Nice punch by the keeper. It's gonna be a shot here. Kicked out by Brett Connor. Madison West throw. Taken by number eighteen, Thomas Garcia. Did well to keep it out of bounds. Nice 
play out by McFarland. Good turn by Ethan Nichols. <laughs> Brett Connor. Mason Brown, great ball inside. Good tackle. West on the attack. Good defense by Jackson Wawinski. Hits, kicks the ball out of bounds. Throw, Madison West. We have some substitutions coming for both teams. Looks like Max Binger is on from McFarland. Peter Krause takes all the throws on that side. Well played number three, Ethan Nichols. Crowd did not like that call. It, from from here, it looked like a fair challenge, but uh, referee was very close to the play, so he's got to got to take his judgment. Here we go. I'll tell you now. Mm, I wouldn't have given it personally, but um, still a little low push. Thirty six minutes gone and this Madison West zero. McFarlane zero. Goal kick. Foul by number three, Ethan Nichols. Kick Madison West. <laughs> Free kick, Madison West taken by number eight, Tonio and Markov. Seems to take all the kicks. That's a long, easily gathered by Matt Hewitt. Passed out to easily gathered is by goalkeeper. Getting a little physical on referee is letting play, which is good. As I mentioned in my last broadcast, you know, you look at soccer being a contact sport and basketball being a non-contact contact sport. You know, the amount of physical contact in basketball being a non-contact sport compared to soccer is not as much, but um, you expect it to be some fouls. And as long as they're not flagrant and gonna hurt someone, Throw McFarland in the 38th minute, 0 0. Nice play by Jackson Wawinski. Ethan Nichols tried to turn out of bounds. McFarlane throw. A 
long throw Jake S Sampson. The West defense seemed to be coping very easily with the long throw. They're quite tall. F defeat there. Nice to have been the Ray Tonya Markov again. He seems to be the main player for West. West still on the attack. Again, Lars heads the ball out. And it's going to be a shot, probably. Yep. Great save by the keeper. Keep it well. Good shot by Tonya and Markov. Keep it really well. Got behind the ball, got his body behind the ball, and made a great save. Yes, nice one two there. Nice shot. Could keep it goes to his right. Does a great save. Out of bounds by Jackson Wawinski. Throw Madison West. We're in the 40th minute and it's 0 0. May even see a, a rare long throw here from Madison West. No, short, feet in. Ian Loss clears the ball in. Nicely brought down by number three, Ethan Nichols. Throw, Madison West. Madison West tried to encroach on the throw. Referee in line with the ball. Nice play by Ethan Nichols. Ian Loss, number two. Madison West on the attack now. Cleared by number seven, Vince Sales. Throw, Madison West. Three minutes to half time, zero, zero. Well played McFarland, broken up by a very good Madison West midfield. Number 10, Usman Jallo. Good tackle by McFarland, throw Madison West. wonder if we're going to see a long throw here. I don't, don't think so. I think they'll go to Usman Jallo's feet, I think, here. Taken by number three, Finn Kennedy. Feet again. Nice head ball out by Jackson Wawinski. Madison West. Very patient and they build up, playing lots of balls to feet. Well played McFarlane on the break. Broken up by M Madison West.
Nice play by, a little too close by Ethan Nichols. Tackle from the back, McFarland. By number seven, Vin Sales. Free kick. We have 40 seconds to go. Madison West, free kick. We'll play this long into the McFarland penalty area. Fallon on the break, 30 seconds to go. Ethan Nichols has the ball. Brett Connor, 20 seconds, out of bounds. Madison West throw. 10 seconds to go. This could be a 0 0 half time. Half, half time whistle goes for referee Todd Mader. McFarland zero, Madison West zero.
One minute to the start of the second half. It's McFarlane zero, Madison West zero. Two very, very good defensive teams here. I think every, everyone's doing well. I, I think the officials have done well this game. The, both defensive, defenses have been excellent, and goalkeepers have been great too. So it's a, a real good game, minimum mistakes. McFarland had the edge the first part of the first half, and then Madison West had the edge the second part of the first half. And uh, <coughs> it's one of those games that one goal is going to decide this game, probably. McFarland kick off. They're in navy blue, and West is in white. As I said, this changes three or four years ago when. Uh, the the home team was always in white or light colors, and the away team was dark. Now it's a different uh, rule change. Long Bob and McFarland, nicely taken by number 21, Zach Nichols, good player, him and his brother. Long throw by Jake Sampson. He plays defeat. First time I've seen him play feet. Looked, looked like a foul. Referee didn't give anything. Throw McFarland. Now it's going to be long. Feet again. It's good. <coughs> nice ball play by Vin Sales. To Brett Connor. Play back to defense to Ian Loss. Broken up by Usman Jalo. <laughs> All the offense seems to come from number eight, Tony Omarko for uh, West. Probably the best player. Throw by number 22, Peter Kraus. Number nine, Jackson Stair. Jallo now. Back to Jackson Wilwinski. 
Nice play, Morgan. To Mason Brown. Mason Brown taking the defense on. Nice play by Ethan Nichols. Tries to volley, and it's a, a pass by goalkeeper and Mason Brown to collide. Non intentional. Goalkeeper was very brave coming in to try to smother that ball, and Mason Brown didn't see the keeper coming and just swung his foot. And unfortunately, an accident that the Mason made contact with the keeper. <coughs> Referee wisely s stops the game. Clock is still running for some reason, but if he doesn't stop the play, then the player doesn't have to leave the field. The goalkeeper, by the way, is the only player that does not have to leave the field if injured. He can stay on, and the referee blows his whistle. Nice play by McFarland. Ian, Ian Loss back to Jackson Wawinski. Number 10, Usman Jallo. Corner kick. Nice defense. Nice defense by Kobe Smith. Long, long kick. Defender comes up. Number four, Owen Rouse. Cleared by McFarlane defense. Throw, Madison West. Shot by Madison West. Where to the goal? It's McFarlane zero, Madison West zero. Goalkeeper looks cold. That's because it is cold. It's in the high 30s now. It's a wind blowing. Well played, McFarland. Well played, number three. Ethan Nichols. Kyle Connor. Sorry, Brett Connor. Usman Jallo. He's going to shoot here. Good defense. Jackson Wawinski, very good defense. Get blocking that shot. Uh, Madison West on the attack. <coughs> Runs to uh, Mason Brown. Mason takes on Usman Jallo. Seemed to quite just nip the player in the back of the heels, but went for the ball. No foul. Two brothers, Mason Brown. Two brothers, Ethan and Zach Nichols. They nice play by. Oh, he should have scored. The ball runs loose. Should have scored. Twenty-one. Zach Nichols should have scored that one. Leaning backwards, ball's always going to go up if you lean backwards. If you lean into the in, into the ball into the play, the ball will stay down. Runs through to the keeper. It's McFarland zero, Madison West zero.
Nice shot by number nine. Jackson Stair, very nice shot, just wide of the post. Madison West play more of a possession game than than McFarland. Nice headed out by number eight Mason Brown. Sorry, by Kobe Smith. Good feet again, I think. Playing defeat, Madison West. Throw McFarland, taken by number two, Ian Loss. Out of bounds, Madison West ball, feet again. Throw Madison West. <coughs> That wasn't very good defending by Kobe Smith, letting the ball run behind him. <coughs> Out of bounds, McFarlane ball. A very even game, 0-0. Zero, zero. I think one goal is going is to decide this game. It's a cold, cold day here in McFarland with hardly uh, very few clouds and wind blowing. Number 22, Peter Krause. West play a real strong possession game. Runs out of bounds. Very quick, quick surface here in McFarland. So it's a McFarland goal kick. Number three, Ethan Nichols to Mason Brown. Goalkeeper clears. Number 10, Usman Jallo. Good player. Throw in McFarland. <coughs> Stopping the play. We have an injury. Or oh, someone's doing his lace up, I should say. Referee blew his whistle. He blows his whistle again to restart the game. Throw in McFarland. Fallen mix substitution. <laughs> nice kick by number seven, Vin Sales. Ethan Nichols, Mason Brown, although he kicked the ball back to the keeper, it wasn't a deliberate pass back, accidental then, that's why the referee didn't call an indirect free kick on the player.
Foul by number 16, Eric Paganoff. One of the few fouls the referee has blown today. Been very, very clean. Not, not very physical game, just taken by number 22, Peter Kraus, senior defender for Madison West. Head route towards goal by Madison West, easily saved by Matt Schuett. There it is again. Nice play by number nine, J Jackson Stair. It's a corner kick, West ball. 57 minutes and it's McFarlane zero, West zero. Long time photographer, Pam Sam just walked to the left there. She's had every home game. Cleared by McFarland. <laughs> Given away to Ethan Nichols. <clears throat> Throw McFarland in the 58th minute, and it's McFarland zero, Madison West zero. I'm surprised that McFarlane don't play more throws on the ground there because the skills that the Nichols boys have in particular on the ground is <coughs> very, very good. And not so good in the air though. Away goes West, out of bounds. Jackson Wawinski. Well tackled. <laughs> Lots of patient play by on the ground by Madison West. Nice play by twenty two. Feet <laughs> given away by McFarland. Shot by number seven, Mitchell Pertel. Number eight has it. Tonya Markov. Farlands away, Ethan Nichols. A great play to Zach Nichols. It's one on one with the defender. Takes him on. Nice play with the defense of. Uh, Madison West, it's McFarland took a soccer ball. <laughs> Taken by number 16, Eric Paganoff. <laughs> Defeat. Jackson Wawinski to Brett Connor. Ian Loss. <laughs> nice play by Mason Brown. Feet of Ethan, Ethan Nichol. Great save, great shot. It's going to be a goal. No. Great save, by, two great saves by the keeper. Nice play, McFarland. Brett Connor. As usual, doesn't give the ball away. To number 18, Carter Morowick. Not a good ball into feet there. Usman Jalo goes away. 
good tackle by Jackson uh, Jackson Lewinsky then. Nice shot by Mason Brown. Should have done better here. Grant Newcomer should have done better, but he did cut a good shot off, and I think the keeper made a great save. So both did well. <coughs> We get an injury as the referee takes the ball, gives it back to the keeper. Keeper can pick it up if he wants to. Probably doesn't realize it. <coughs> McFarland seems to like the long ball, and I think they play better with a short ball to feet, personally, and with the two, two brothers, Ethan and, and Zach Nichols, taking the, taking the defense, defense on with their turn of speed and stuff. Cries for handball there by one of the parents. There's Ethan Nichols now. See what he does. Great ball to Mason Brown. Good, good defensive work by West. 63rd minute, McFarland zero, West zero. Ordered a handball there. Looked like a handball, but the referee was unsighted. <laughs> Throw McFarland. <coughs> Well defended by West. Mason Brown. Brett Connor. Well defended by West. Throw McFarland. Jake Sampson is not in the game at the moment. Shot by handball against McFarland. Free kick, Madison West. <coughs> Throw McFarland. <coughs> nice play by number three. Ethan Nichols. Just kept in. As I said, all the ball has to go. Well played. Who's Jallo again? <coughs> West as well there. Rolls back to the keeper. The West player is injured. Player resumes, keeper kicks the ball. Puts it on the ground. Throw McFarland. <laughs> Jackson Wolinski to Lost by McFarland. Could be costly. They 
Spun Jallo. Scores a great goal. Keeper. Dove to his right and missed the ball. <coughs> Don't know if the keeper should have been protecting his near post there. Very rare. I won't say it's a mistake, but the keeper should have had his post covered. So it's McFarlane 0, Madison West 1 in the 67th minute. Could be a costly mistake and... High kick, west ball, indirect free kick. S referee signal signals that with one arm lifted above his head. Brett Connor, Grant Newcomer. Nice turn by number three, Ethan Nickel. Defender came in close behind him. It's the 67th minute and fallen zero, Madison West won. 21 is away, Zach Nichols. Goes for a goal kick. Good shot, across the, across the front of the goal. Two-thirds of the way through the game now. 67 minutes gone. McFarlane, zero. Madison West, one. <laughs> Mason Brown. Jazz. Nice play there, <coughs> but McFarlane very unlucky. <laughs> Vince Silt as well then. Nice back heel by Madison West. That's uh, Tonio and Markov again in the break. Nice skills. Nice player. It's a senior all conference selection. Out of bounds. West ball. Coming to the last 20 minutes of the game. Shot by Usman Jalo. I don't. I think you want to forget about forget about that one. Leaning back, body p pointing in the wrong direction. Ball sails wide. Fallen, defending well. West is having a much better second half than they did first half. <coughs> they have the wind at their back. Just fallen throw. Nice play by West. Yeah. 
Nice. Great head ball there by West. See that one again. <clears throat> Here's a replay. Number 18, Thomas Garcia just wide hits the post. And then number 10, Usman Jallo takes a rebound and he hits the post too. So it's a lucky mistake. Give you a shot here. Nice save, good shot. <clears throat> it's number eight again, Tonio Markov. Good shot, good save. West is starting to put the pressure on McFarlane now, trying to get a second goal so they can tie the game up. Fallon has not played well as the second half. Have not maintained possession. Have not built up well. West corner kick. West maintaining possession again. Defense by Jackson Wawinski then. Out of bounds, McFarlane ball. McFarlane zero, Madison West one. Usman Jallo. Tony and Markov again. Could have been a PK, but ball are already gone. Good, good call by the referee. Nice play, Mason. Mason Brown. Nice. Yes, good goal. Nice play. Nice goal by number three, Ethan Nichols, left-footed. Well played by his brother, Zach Nichols. They have a telepathic um, mind. Number seven is crying to the referee. Mitchell Pertel is, is trying to tell the referee that there was a infringement. <coughs> Goalkeeper's out as well. So it's goal stands. McFarlane won. <coughs> Madison West won. Referee is walking over to coach. Madison West coach is complaining about something. Goal has been given. The referee is, is not able to change his mind. Goal has been given. Coach is not happy if something happened. <coughs> Substitute Madison West. So it's McFarland one, Madison West one. Finn Sales. Out of bounds, it's um, West Ball.
Brett Connor. Nice play by number seven, McFarlane, Vince Sales. Out of bounds. Taken by Ian Loss. I play Ethan Nichols. Great play. Goes between two players. Takes on one too many there. Number 13, Joshua Glazer to number 22, Peter Krause. It's a foul from the back by number nine. Lucky not to get a yellow card for this. Number nine, Jack McGinn. Clear foul from the back. Usman Jalo to take the kick. <laughs> Great kick and a nice volley by <coughs> defender there. Great volley. Nice head on by Ethan Nichols, his brother, Zach. Takes him on. Nice clearance corner kick, McFarlane. Five tall, Jackson Wawinski at number nine. Jack McGinn on the side on the on the edge of the boxes now, getting in late, pushing the back. McFarlane. Kick Madison West. <coughs> Madison West went to state last year. Throw McFarland. Broken up by Eric Paganoff. Usman Jallo. It's quick. Kukibu. Comes off his line. <coughs> Eric Paganoff to Brett Connor. Can't pick it up. Ethan Nickel, his brother Zach, he's going to take him on, he's going to take him on, and he's going to shoot. Shot off balance, easily picked up by the keeper. 
We're in the 79th minute, and it's McFarland one, Madison West one. Not a good head ball out by Jackson Wawinski then. Too much time, sometimes you can have too much time to take a shot here. Nice defense, drops to number 13. Number 13, Joshua Glazer. This Madison West, throw. Taking on number 22, Peter Krause. Paper number 22, Peter Krause. Careful from the back, McFarland. Cool kick. Nice play with Mason Brown. Nice. 21, Zach Nichols. Eric Paganoff. Good defensive work. Got to be careful of the tackle here. And it's a corner kick. 10 minutes to go, nine minutes to go. And it's 1-1, one, one, McFarlane, Madison West, taken by number eight, Tonio Amarkov, probably their best player. Free head, from, free head for West, corner kick, good save keeper. So surprised that the McFarlane defense had allowed that ball to come down so easy. The player ne never had to leap to. Here it goes again. That's very poor defend defending by McFarland. They're very susceptible in the air to uh, corner kicks, McFarland. They. They have plenty of height in the, in the team, but uh, <laughs> Rock County Conference uh, playoffs start next week. McFarland play on Monday against East Troy. The Throw to Madison West. Seven minutes to go. Taken by number 22, Peter Krause. Ball's played out of bounds by number five, Jackson Wawinski. <laughs> Taken by Usman Jallo. Good defense by McFarland. Twenty-one Zach Nichols, Chuck McGinn, poor communication by McFarland. Then not talking or looking, looking at each other before they passed it.
defending is, is not that good by McFarland. They've got to get behind the ball. Lots of throws given away. 84th minute. Still a tie. Well played, keeper. Well done. Good save. Good save, keeper. Sub. Peter Krause take the throw. Sub West. Fletcher McGrath comes back in. Fallen did well then. Long ball down the field. Wind behind the back west. Ball sails easily over the heads of the defense into the hands of the keeper. Likes to play the ball off the ground rather than the air. <laughs> nice play by number nine, Jackson Stair. Muspinchalo again. He'll go out. He'll go at them. Peter Krause. Well played, McFarland. Out of bounds. Throw west. Muspinchalo. He simply just. Four minutes to go. West attacking. West has have had the better of the second half. They, they've been a much better team. Out of bounds. Eric Paganov. Manjalo again. Fallen defending again, hitting the ball into, th into touch. Peter Krause. <laughs> Finn Sales. Crowd got getting anxious and it's three minutes to go <laughs> nice play by uh, the best player I think Guzman Jalo, uh, I'm sorry Guzman Jalo and also Tony Imakov is probably the two best players Intercepted by, oh, that's a trip by Don't know what happened then. I think he must have tried to play an advantage. Clock is not stopped. Try to play an advantage and didn't materialize and so the ball will go or go back automatically to the West team. Then sails away. Not a good choice, I don't think. He's gonna run it. Good effort. Good effort. 
did well. Nice save by goalkeeper. No idea what's happening at the moment. Play it down on the ground to my left. Trainer comes on the field. 88 minutes, 28 seconds, just, a, just over a minute to go. Looks like it's uh, number eight, Antonio Amarkov, looks at the injured player. like a knee injury. Roughly must have blown his whistle to stop the play when he saw the injured player down and now he's playing possession. Possession, Madison West and have West of uh, McFarlane kick the ball back to the keeper or to, to the def defender. Yes, kicks the ball back to the keeper. <coughs> we have just over a minute to go. Long ball down the field. Keeper can pick that up because it was not deliberate pass back. We have just over a minute. West of the ball. Dangerous ball back, but dealt effectively by Jackson Wawinski. Throw west. One last chance for west. Take a shot. Rolls through the keeper. Goal kick, and looks like the game is going to end in the tie. 30 seconds to go. Madison West 1, McFarland 1. But the West was a much better team second half, although McFarland got a good goal. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine minutes gone, it's a tie. West zero. McFarlane zero. This will end McFarlane's regular season. Good, good tie with Madison West. I've done well against the big eight schools and some of the best schools in the area. So it's Madison West one, McFarlane one.